Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Second video of 2016. Is it? Maybe it's the third. I don't know which, which order I'll put these up in. Anyway, this is Empties. Um, Empties video is always popular, but this is, pro this is quite a big one. So I'm gonna try and be swift through the stuff I'm not sure you're that interested in, which is predominantly, there's a ton of hair stuff basically. I, um, for people who are sort of new to the channel or aren't up to speed with what happened to me last year, um, long story short, I was in a car accident in the summer, um, which by the way, interesting subtext, um, six months later, the other party has finally claimed responsibility for. Um, no shit Sherlock, it's not like I reversed into you on the M25. Anyway, moving swiftly on, let's not talk about those horrible things. I was managing to get up every day, well, after the first couple of weeks, I had really bad whiplash and blah, 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 and I would shower and then I would just take my hair and put it in a tight, wet bun. Predominantly because I couldn't lift my arms to blow dry, I didn't want to blow dry, I would literally get up, shower, go back to sleep on the sofa, feeling sorry for myself, as you're allowed to do when you've been through a horrible experience. Anyway, and when the time came that I was going to the hairdresser, started to feel better, went to the hairdresser, needed my roots doing, etc. He <laughs> basically held up the top of my hair and it was about that long. I had taken, done my sort of wet bun, but instead of just pulling it through, like girls with long hair, boys as well, man buns, you'll know what I mean, you pull it through and then you pull it through again, sort of, and, and you kind of have a big fluffy bun. I, for some godforsaken unknown reason, was spinning it on the top of my head and then putting, wrapping the tie around it, which meant I was just snapping it. <laughs> I have spent a lot of time since then trying to apologize to my hair and use gentler products, not bleaching as much around the front. I've still got bleach in because I don't like it without. Just trying to go easy. Um, it's really growing and the top is much longer than it was. Um, so it's working. So that's why, <laughs> two and a half minutes to tell you why there are a lot of hair products because I wash my hair most days, I'm working my way through them. Um, yeah, and I will use hair products to the end, like cutting tubes, getting everything out of them in a way that I do with skincare, but not to the same degree. Anyway, so I'm gonna be fairly quick on the hair and spend more time on the skin, face stuff. Not too quick and I'm a squeaky chair soz okay let's just go I'm gonna go for the things I can see I've had to pile the hair stuff up here because there's so much of it there's oh, oh. Um, starting with OGX shampoos I started writing about these last year there are three here uh, there's tea tree mint conditioner I love this because I love the smell it reminds me of Aveda rosemary mint half the price uh, coconut milk shampoo I also love the coconut everybody knows I love a bit of coconut and Sea Mineral Moisture Shampoo. Um, when it comes to the shampoos, for me, there's not that much in it, as long as they're sulfate free, for me. Sorry, excuse me again. Oh, just make use of the back while I reach down. Um, they need to be sulfate free, because my scalp does not like sulfates. I get like sores and... So I don't use foaming on my face, and I don't use sulfate on my hair. Um, more shampoo. Let's just <laughs> work our way through apologies while I'm sorting myself. Now when I say I use, I get them empty, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, so this is Paul Mitchell Our Pooey, Our Pooey, uh, moisturizing leather shampoo. This is a beautiful shampoo. It comes in quite big chunky sizes. It lasts for ages. It does um, lather, but not, doesn't leave your hair feeling dry at all. Doesn't leave it all knotted. Love it. Pureology Hydrate Shampoo. This again, got this from the hairdresser because every time they would wash my hair with it I'd say oh, what's that smell I haven't smelt anything on camera yet have I oh anyway but it's also a really beautiful shampoo Pew, it's the shampoo um Pureology is not only SLS free and all that sort of stuff it's also vegan which I know is important to a lot of you <laughs> also why you will never ever see me do a video called what I eat in a day uh not so much for me but for the family and um, a couple of my girlfriends have done those recently and been mullered by, um, should we call them the healthy vegan part of YouTube audiences? Anyway, 
not for me. But hair products, if you want to know they're vegan, I'll tell you. Um, Rawa, Rahua. This has been up here before. Uh, this one is the Volume Voluminous. Honestly, it's like the camera goes on and I lose the power of speech. Voluminous conditioner. Beautiful products, absolutely lush. Talking of empties, Szechuan. Can't get much emptier than that. Um, Ocean Mist Volume Conditioner. Next up. Um, okay, it's upside down. I'll do it this way so you can see because I think I might get like a lids fall out of this. Big sexy hair. You will have seen this first in my LA loot video. I bought tons of it back from the States because it was on a two for one. <laughs> I may pay extra baggage just to get heavy conditioners back. It is a sulfate free volumizing conditioner. It looks like that. I love this conditioner and I'm back in LA at the end of the month. I will be stocking up and I'm gonna, just gonna lightly put that upside down so I can get some more out of it. Some Philip Kingsley. Now, Philip Kingsley, I, am, I used to be hit and miss with. I would use the elasticizer and be like, don't really know what it's doing for me. Not that sure, da -da. anyway. Then I went to see Josh Wood around the time I had the breakage and the dodgy hair and he spoke to me. <laughs> the way that I speak to people who would sit in front of me, for example, and say, oh yeah, I love washing my face. I use soap and face wipes. He looked at me in abject horror and was just like, you have destroyed your hair. It's like, yeah, I know, thanks. Sorry about that. Anyway, then he gave me a long list of use this and this and in amongst them was Philip King's the elasticizer now this one I already had is it going to focus maybe you know what it is it's that candle behind my head look hey hey <laughs> uh Philip King's the elasticizer is his best-selling product Josh Wood told me to use the extreme one and I did and it was amazing that's already been in an empties video that's been and gone I reached into my stash and got this one out that's also been and gone and there's no need to cut that in half because there's a big hole in the top when you unscrew it and you can see it's empty um philip kingsley trichotherapy trico pro <laughs> that is obviously for um breakage you spray it uh what's it say spray through mid lengths and ends to detangle basically i have just been overloading on things that are good for breakage, promoting growth, all that sort of stuff. Oh, and I love that. I used it every day until it was gone. Uh, three, four more hair and then I'm down to body, I promise. And then face. Um, Unite. You will have seen these on the blog because I did a Unite giveaway as part of the 12 days. They're all empty. Unite shampoo, please focus. Unite, chuck that on the floor. Unite conditioner. If I get my glasses out of the way, it works. And I love this, the seven seconds condition. Looks like this, but it's a spray. I do like a spray detangle. So I'll do shampoo, condition, and then a spray, and then root stuff, and then end stuff, and then blow dry. And somewhere in, in amongst that, I will always use, and this has just been in my best of video, and I apologized in that because I did not realize it was also in last year's best of video. Show Beauty Working Texture Spray. Some people have things that just suit their hair. This for me is one of them. It would be because it's not four quid. Do you know what I mean? Um, but it works. When I worked in Space and K 40 billion years ago, um, Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray came out and everyone raved about it and everyone was like, oh my God, it's amazing, it's so good. It makes your hair just go, mm. No, it made my hair just sticky. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love some Bumble products, but that for me, I was just like, couldn't get on board with it. This does for me what I think that might do for others in that it's, for me, thickening, makes your hair feel like there's more to it than there is, but does not in any way make it feel coated or uncomfortable or sticky or grim. So, probably have to put this away and never talk about it again because anyone would think it was a sponsored post. It's not at all in any way, I just love it. Shall we move on to body? Okay, body. Um, not loads because in some respects for me, a body wash is a body wash is a body wash. I have maybe three or four that are really expensive that I buy 
to treat myself, to make myself feel nice on days where I feel really rough, um, if they're presents, obviously. Um, because ultimately, I'm fully aware you're gonna wash it away. Sometimes, though, it is nice to have a little something extra. So I don't keep all, like I use um, Badidas and a lot of those, oh, beg your pardon, a lot of those original mints, original source mint body shampoos and stuff like that. So they're not all here. If they were here, we'd be here for an hour. So I've just sort of cherry picked ones that I, I use regularly and I really like up for some reason, but they would be the first thing I'd grab on a shelf. Get the sentence out. Okay, first one again. Talk about empty. This is Anthony for Men, Anthony Logistics, Invigorating Rush, Hair and Body Wash. It looks like that because it's empty. It's normally pine green. <laughs> so it looks like that normally. Ta-da! <laughs> My new little book for 2016 being very helpful there. Uh, this smells really, really strong of, um, let me just check what scent they say is in it. Oh God. Sage, chamomile, no, that's not it. Balsam, balsam. That's the jobby. That really, really green, piney, herbal. Mm, and when you smell it, it smacks you across the face at seven in the morning. That is what that does. We all love it. I had to hide it in the bathroom because the three men in the house were using it, which is fair enough. It's a men's product. I don't care about any of that. Um, Jumpstart Body and Mind, Eucalyptus Extract, Birch Leaf and Canadian Balsam. Lush. I will probably stock up on this in the States, in Sephora, because it's much cheaper. Recycled for now. Oh, again, Mullard. <laughs> Hampton Sun Privet Bloom Shower Gel. Now this, I, it's completely gone. It's totally, you can't even. Um, this I've used for years. Um, Hampton Sun do sun care. This is not available in the UK. It's only available in the US. And I think now they may have even discontinued it. But this smell for me, you know when you have days, I have days personally, which I'll talk about more on the vlog, but I have days where if, if I do not shower before a certain time of day, I feel like I've wasted the day and it almost leaves me a bit depressed. And that I know for a fact stems from when I had babies and you were so exhausted that you did not have the energy to get up and shower. And I know you're all hearing this, new mums or young people with young babies and dads, never wanna leave out the dads but there was just something so particularly draining about those breastfeeding days where the energy it takes you to get into the shower almost makes you weep. Seriously, I could go now thinking about it. This is one of those products that as soon as I smell it, my mood is lifted, it's summer in my head, even if it's nearly snowing outside, hence the big jumper. And I love it, I love them forever for making it. And now that I've remembered I love it, that's going on the desk so I can email them and say, Please send me everything you've got left. Please, please don't delete it, please. Um, along the same vein, wakey up, balsamy, oh, and it smells um, florally citrus green. It's green, I think green is the sort of theme through my shower gels that wake you up. Bliss, soapy suds, uh, lemon and sage. I do like a bliss shower gel. I've got a teeny bit there. I'll probably just put that by the sink. Um, I wouldn't buy them for everyday use. Again, I tend to use them AM, days I need to be up early, days I need a clear head, things like that. Very, very nice. Um, I, bringing home the theme of tubes that have been utterly destroyed by Hirons. Oh, oh, there might be a smudging in there. This is Radical Firming Body Multi Repair. You can tell how knackered it is because I've got rid of all the print on the bottle. And um, oh! This is really lovely. It is um, rich, but not sticky. Your skin still feels like you're wearing it at the end of the day. And as I've always said, with expensive body products, I tend to only use them sort of chin and, chin and chest, <laughs> chin and tits as we would say, chin and chest down to just sort of on the stomach and then it becomes El Cheapo. So radical really nice check it out if your main concern is that sort of dry saggy wrinkly skin lovely shall, shall we do a bit of face okay um there's not loads all of them will be familiar to you uh and this one will come as no surprise because the packaging is broken it's an emma hardy travel size 
Da, da, da. Um, I keep the travel sizes exactly for that reason. They come with me to mum's. This is empty because I popped up to mum's before Christmas. I love it. There's not much more I can say about Emma Hardy cleanser. I always have it to hand. I have a big fat pot for home and travel pots to take away from me. Won't be without it, love it. Same goes for possibly my number one product of all time. Oh, steady now. It's like picking a favorite child, but my favorite child of skincare, Biologique Recherche Lotion P50 1970. 1970, because it's unavailable in Europe and I hate the EU for making it unavailable. It's very rude. Um, the main reason being this one has fennel in it. It slightly numbs the skin. The reason this one has fennel to slightly numb the skin is that this is the one they used to use in the treatment rooms to slightly numb the skin before they did slightly more aggressive machine work on the face. I know this because I trained with the people who founded the range. They have now both sadly passed on and their sons run the range, but I trained with uh, Monsieur and Madame Aloche in early, early 2000s, I wanna say. And that came from the horse's mouth. And I still love the product. You can't buy it in France. I get my friend Jordan, thank God for Jordan, to send me this from the States. So, God bless America, y'all. Okay, more acids. This is from another one of my favorite males in the world, Zellens PHA Bio Peel Pads. All gone. Again, these have been on the blog many times. Um, they are glycolic free, so if you want to use acids and you're, you've been sort of scared off of glycolic or you genuinely have a problem with glycolic, that's what you want. That's probably my maybe third, third pot. Um, recycling. The next one is also Zellens, just by coincidence. I didn't realize I had two in there because I, I collect these as I go, as anyone who does these videos will know. Uh, this is Z Luminous Brightening Serum. Now this has just been in my um, best of 2015. I love this serum. If you watched that video last week, you'll see the story in there. I don't need to go over it again because I don't feel like I'm bashing you over the head with it. It worked for me. It's called Brightening. It was great with pigmentation. Loved it. Won't chuck that quite so hard on the floor. Okay, things are falling apart. Okay, one more skincare and then two makeup and we're done. This is, I think, my third or fourth bottle of this. It, for smoothing the eye area, is hard to beat. And it's another one of my favorite ladies, Kate Somerville Line Release Eye Repair. Is that what it's called? Line Release Under Eye Repair Cream. Um, like I say, feels like silk. Makeup sits beautifully on top of it. Um, I don't use it particularly if I've got really big dark circles. It is literally, for me, it's the best with a line. Do you know like round here if you're dehydrated or weather or whatever? Beautiful, love it. Two left. Um, I have done, this came out I think last spring for this brand and I think I've done three of them. It is my everyday go-to lip tint stroke balm and what I tend to do every time I am wearing this over a lip liner, I am asked in the comment section, what I'm wearing. It's Pixie Lip Lift Max. It looks like that because it's empty. It should be pink like that. <laughs> um, it gives, let me see if there's any left on this brush. Hang on. Let me see if I can put it on. And now I'm already wearing a Chanel red, so you won't see any. It has that camphory, little bit of a sting, little bit of a kick. Sting's the wrong word, kick. Mm. Um, I use it on top of a, I'll do a lip liner all over the lip. It's much easier for me to find lip liners that really suit my lips than lipsticks. So I'll do a lip liner, fill the whole lip in, not just do, you know, around the edges. Put that on top, beautiful. Like I say, that's maybe my third tube. And then this to round us off is Chanel Ultra Noir. I'm onto my second tube of this. As soon as I used it, I thought, found one of my mascaras for life. Um, it was easily my, probably my most used makeup product from the time I got it, got my hands on it last year, up until now. I still love it. I'm trialing new mascaras all the time. I have never taken this out of my makeup bag since it was released. Sorry, it's never gonna focus. So it's Ultra Noir is the one you want. Words to the wise, like I said in the previous best of video, 
I don't use it on my lower lashes because it does travel down your cheeks. So I tend to only use it upper, but it's beautiful. It's also empty. And we are finished. So thank you so much for watching. I will put more details below. I will try and answer any questions you have. I know it was a long rambly video, but I'm out of practice. I don't know what to tell you. And I will, what have I got next? I don't know actually. Leave me some suggestions and I will catch up with you soon. Bye.